guys, it's Johnny. Welcome to my first real cooking video on YouTube. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook Manchi's recipe for Korean hot dog bread. Manchi is the go-to expert for Korean cooking on YouTube. I'll put the link to her videos in the description below. Hot dog bread is one of my favorites and I always make sure to grab some when I go to the Korean market. All right, getting started, we're gonna melt some butter in a saucepan. We're gonna add a little milk. And I'm going to add my yeast off the heat so it doesn't get too hot on the stove. You don't want to add the yeast into boiling milk and butter because it will kill the yeast and your bread won't rise. And I'm going to throw in one egg, some salt, some sugar, and the flour. Add that all in. I'm going to mix it up by hand. It's going to be a really sticky dough, but that's okay. It's supposed to be really sticky. And you don't really have to knead it for very long, only knead it for about a minute. We're going to put it in the oven to proof for one hour. In a bowl, I'm going to add some onion, some chopped red pepper, some canned corn, and a little bit of Japanese mayo, and some black pepper. I'm going to mix that up until well combined. Here's our dough, it's been proven for an hour. It's more than doubled in size. I'm gonna deflate it and turn it out onto my cutting board. And I throw a little bit of flour down here. It's not too sticky anymore, so it's pretty easy to knead. I'm just gonna knead that for a minute or two to develop a little bit of gluten. Uh, you don't need to develop too much gluten because you want it to be tender pastry. Now I'm going to weigh the dough out so I know how to portion it. I'm going to cut it into five pieces. They're going to be about 90 grams each. And I'm going to roll them up into balls and put it off to the side on a baking sheet with some plastic wrap covering so they don't dry out. I'm going to flatten out the dough into a little rectangle, about six inches in diameter. And I'm going to set the hot dog down. And what we're trying to do here is encase the hot dog and the dough fully. and then repeat with all five pieces. So I'm gonna cut this hot dog bread. You wanna cut it every half an inch and then move it over to the opposite side. So cut it, move it to the left, cut it, move it to the right, cut it, move it to the left, and so on until you make this nice flower pattern. And once that's completed, uh, we're going to add our toppings. This is the onion, corn, and pepper mixture. And just add that straight down the middle. Now we're going to add some mozzarella cheese on top. This is the pre-gritted kind. I prefer the block kind because it melts better. So if you have that, use that. Now I'm going to squirt some ketchup on these. Make sure when you do this, your piping bag works properly so you don't squirt it all over the place and screw up your pattern like I did. We're going to transfer this to the center of a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, you want to pull it out and add a little bit of an egg wash to it. It's just one egg with a quarter cup of water mixed together. And this is going to help the edges brown up and look really nice. Otherwise, it would stay this pale color. It's already cooked, but we just want to brown it up. Back into the oven. And I also broiled it for an additional minute, but this is the finished product. 
and I'm sorry I don't have any shots of me eating it or any better shots. Uh, I took some, and they were terrible. So I'm still trying, and uh, next time it'll be a lot better. But this is the finished product. It was really, really tasty. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and like this video, and leave a comment down below. Thank you very much. Visit my website, www.johnnybucalis.com. Why did I do this? Now, now the butter's clumped up.